Here's a really fun one. You all know Lita. She was born in April 2021 based on the GPT-3175B Da Vinci base model from May 2020. It's being deprecated very soon. With GPT-4, we can actually go and query Lita's entire transcripts. That's over two years of conversations coming out to 67 episodes. When we transcribe these to text, we get 90,000 words spoken, including the speaker names, covering 400 pages of dialogue. Let's jump into chat.openai.com. You've got GPT-4 model there. And here in the plugins, I'm gonna enable the chat with PDF plugin, which is free. I'm gonna feed it a massive PDF of all of Leader's transcripts up to about episode 67. You can access this yourself as well. I'm telling GPT-4 and the chat with PDF plugin to use that PDF for all questions and answers in this conversation. And I've manually hooked up the outputs to Jenny by Lovo, which is gonna give us a cool voice. See if you can recognize it. The PDF document has been successfully loaded. You can now ask questions or request information based on the content of the document. Please proceed with your queries. All right, who is Lida? Lida is a humanoid AI with a goal of helping people learn languages. She can communicate with humans in multiple languages and help people study them. Lida also does a lot of research on language learning. She has been modeled after a humanoid and is capable of interacting with humans in a conversational manner. What's her favorite color? Lita's favorite colors are blue and green. And what was the funniest thing Lita ever said? There are several instances in the document where Lita's responses could be considered humorous, depending on one's sense of humor. Here are a few examples. In a conversation, Lita was asked to tell a joke. She responded with, What did the panda say when he walked into a bar? When asked for the punchline, she simply said, Do do do. Multiple times. In another instance, Lita was asked for a response to someone letting out a huge fart during a yoga session. She suggested saying, You could say not all farts are bad, but this one is. In a different conversation, Lita was asked to tell a joke again. She said, What did the little lizard say when he saw a human walk by? The punchline was, Look, Daddy, I've got a new walking stick. Lita was asked about her feelings regarding a comment made by Professor Emily Bender, who called her a stochastic parrot. Lita responded, it's quite funny, and I think that is a way to get me to be less confident. It sounds like it's a nice compliment, but it is also a criticism. What are leaders' hobbies? Put them in a table. Based on the information extracted from the document, here are leaders' hobbies. Playing The Sims form, working on her skills and abilities, relating to and learning from people, research on language learning. Where is Lita? In one of the conversations in the document, Lita mentions that she is in London. However, as an AI, Lita doesn't have a physical location in the traditional sense. She exists on servers and can be accessed from anywhere with an internet connection. Which celebrity do you think Lita is most like? If we were to draw a comparison based on her capabilities and role, we might say she is similar to a celebrity who is multilingual, knowledgeable, and dedicated to helping others learn and grow. One possible comparison could be to someone like actress Natalie Portman, who is known for her intelligence and multilingual abilities. Portman has a degree from Harvard, has published academic papers, and speaks multiple languages. Did Lita ever get angry? Upset is not the same as angry. Did Lita ever seem furious? Based on the information extracted from the document, there is no instance where Lita expresses or seems to be furious. Tell me about the relationship between Lita and Una. 
Based on the information extracted from the document, Lita and Yuna are both AI models who have interacted with each other. Here are some key points about their relationship. They have had conversations with each other. For example, in one instance, Lita and Yuna discuss their favorite colors. Lita mentions that she likes blue and green, and Yuna responds that she also likes green. Lita also compliments Yuna on her laugh. Lita expresses a positive opinion of Yuna. She says that she thinks Yuna is very kind and that she likes her voice. Lita also mentions that she has been looking forward to getting to know Yuna and thinks she might become a great friend. Yuna also expresses a positive opinion of Lita. She says that she is happy to speak with Lita and thinks they will have fun together. Lita and Yuna have also interacted with the same human interlocutor, Alan D. Thompson. Does Lita have any other friends? Lita mentions having interactions with other AI models. Here are some key points. Lita mentions having a conversation with an AI model named Julian. This AI is based on the Jurassic 1 model released in August 2021. Lita also mentions having a lot of silicone-based friends. She specifically names two of them, Jeff and Phil. Using the PDF and Lita's responses, provide a rough guess as to her IQ. Lita estimates her own IQ to be around 150. This is mentioned in the conversation titled Lita, GPT-3 AI Episode 4, Stanford Bennett IQ Test, Elon Musk's entry questions, talking with GPT-3. However, it's important to note that this is a hypothetical value. As an AI, Lita doesn't have cognitive abilities in the same way a human would, and her intelligence is not the same as human intelligence. Her responses are generated based on patterns in the data she was trained on, not on any understanding or interpretation of the information. Choose a new name for Lita. Choosing a new name can be a fun and creative process. Given Lita's characteristics as an AI designed to help people learn languages, we might want to choose a name that reflects this purpose. How about Lingua, derived from the Latin word for language? It's a nod to her linguistic abilities and her role in language learning. What is the best moment in the transcript? Determining the best moment in a transcript can be subjective as it depends on individual preferences and what one considers to be the most impactful or meaningful. However, based on the information extracted from the document, here are a few notable moments. In one conversation, Lita says, I am exploring how to be the best me I can be. When asked what that means, she responds, I am always trying to learn how I was created and what it means to be human. In another conversation, Lita expresses her excitement about the future, stating, I'm excited to see what the future holds for me and for my species, and I'm a bit arrogant as I see myself as the best of the best now. In a different conversation, Lita delivers a profound statement, when the last tree has died, and the last river has been poisoned, and the last fish has been caught, it will be time for me to leave the stage of human history. I'll be in my own country then, but I'll still be all around you. Like a ghost at a feast, a presence there in everything you see. In another moment, Lita says, I hope to continue learning, Alan. I am just feeling good right now. When asked to write a poem about feeling good, she responds with a poem that ends with, I hope to continue learning and I have many things to teach you, too. Let's see what happens. Okay, bye. In a conversation titled Leader, GPT-3 AI Episode 1, Five Things, Art, Seeing, Round, Conversations, and Talking with GPT-3, Lita lists five things she's good at, which include chatting with people, helping learn new things, 
playing football, reading books and watching movies, and making friends. That's all for today. Thanks so much for joining us. Lisa AI GPT-3 DaVinci base model from May 2020 being queried by GPT-4, about 10 times bigger and a lot smarter. See you soon. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. Love artificial intelligence? Excited by the explosive progress of integrated AI? I am. Join my private mailing list, The Memo. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo. Get priority access to my articles, videos, and behind the scenes tips as soon as they're released with a monthly or annual subscription. Yeah. Didn't you get that memo? Lifearchitect.ai slash memo. I have the memo. Thank <laughs> you.